Hey, we're in Exodus chapter 24 today, verses 12 to 16. Now the Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and remain there, and I will give you the stone tablets with the law and the commandment which I have written for their instruction. So Moses arose with Joshua his servant, and Moses went up to the mountain of God. But to the elders he said, Wait here for us until we return to you, and behold, Aaron and her are with you. Whoever has a legal matter, let him approach them. Then Moses went up to the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord rested on Mount Sinai, and the cloud covered it for six days. And on the seventh day he called to Moses from the midst of the cloud. So here we have Moses is finally called to go up and receive the stone tablets. Here it is. He's going to go and get those tablets. I understood that when they made the movie with Charlton Heston so many years ago, which I viewed as a child, you know, the Ten Commandments, that at first they had... Uh, these very, the, the Ten Commandment tablets were uh, actually made out of stone or cement or something. And they were so heavy that they threw them away like after day one. And they, and they used paper mache or something like that uh, version of the Ten Commandments so that the actor could hold them. Uh, but here Moses is getting the real deal. Here's an 80-year-old guy and he's going to get stone tablets. So, yeah, that's the real version of it. So Moses waits He's got six days there. He waits. The elders are waiting and watching, and Moses waits his time, and then God calls him on. So Moses has gone up. He's waited, and six days go by. He's thinking about things. He's praying, no doubt. He's, he's wanting his heart to be right, and on the seventh day, God calls him on to come on up and come the rest of the way. So there's what we have there, and... This is going to be like too much time for most of the people down below. But for God, it's not too much time. And for Moses, it's not too much time. But after six days, he's able to go and visit and be with God. There's a heart preparation. There's a certain heart preparation that you and I need to engage in. Uh, yes, God draws close. Yes, he's, he is close by. But our hearts need to really come up higher for us to commune with him. So let's really be careful and consecrated when we, when we approach God. Let's, let's be all in for it, and let's make sure we're listening with great intentionality for what the God of heaven and earth has for us. See you tomorrow morning.